morning. Today is the 13th day of Tammuz on the Jewish calendar. It's the week when we'll be reading Parshat Shabbos here in Shul and around the world. In Pinchas, we find that we're, we're heading towards the end of the fourth book of the Torah, in which really the narrative part kind of brings us to the end of the line of the, the, the time in the desert. The fifth book is, is the Jews in the last and 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 just for the for the future. So we're zeroing in now in this week's Torah portion also towards the end of the journey and Moses um, designates a successor, Joshua. And the language of my Wi-Fi the language that the Torah uses, that God uses, is that God, that the idea of leadership, as, as it's described, is a person who is in character, a, per, a, a person who is above the people. In other words, this is not about th them having power, are about having a position of, of, of authority over me and you, even that if that will be, because that's what a leader is, is the person of character where you and I can look to that person and say, now there's a person who has evolved. There's a person with self-control, discipline, whatever it may be. And therefore, it, in, and then it says, there's a, it's, the leader is someone who is the, the nuances of the, how the Hebrew uh, plays out there, but the way it's, it's Talmud, it's a person who really gets different people, gets their differences, gets their needs. So a leader is attuned, totally attuned, and totally committed to the people he or she serves. And so the, the Torah paradigm is not, I, I don't think, the, our normal political leadership model as it's exercised around the world. First of all, it's not necessarily people looking to be leaders, because that itself could tell you something sometimes about their personalities. But it's, it's not only about the job they do. A good CEO is not necessarily a good Jew, a leader judaically if they're not a person, a good person an evolved person, a person who we can look to not only for their prowess in guiding uh, the, the society, which is a skill for a leader, it's a person who leads and guides themselves to a good place. And as the Rebbe would say, we're all supposed to be leaders in our own lives. Each and every one of us has a, a sphere of influence. We each has the capacity to to guide ourselves and probably at least one or two or three people around not not in a, in a preachy way to try to upgrade the, the the atmosphere the thinking the the goals so we all have to get out there and lead and think about it. it's not only about the leading it's about leading ourselves so we can impact others